Hi everyone, one of my favorite Carnat image plate is M89. This is the third video which I have made using the plate. There is a really pretty print on it, but it is taking me this long to come up with the design to go with it. It looks awesome just on its own, but I always like to add a little something extra to it to take it up a notch. And this is what I came up with. If you have a favorite image plate, leave a comment below it, I would love to know about it. As always, start with base coat to protect your nails. Then a layer of a light blue polish as the base color. Apply to all of your nails and let it dry. The image plate I'm using today is the Coronat M89. Apply black stamping polish over the swirly design on the top right. Scrape off excess polish using the scraper, then transfer the image using the stamper. Check that the image is complete, then aim and roll it over the nail. Make sure you do this quickly before the nail polish dries up. In between stamps, you can clean the image plate, stamper and scraper with nail polish remover. Then repeat steps for the next nail. If you want to keep your working space clean, try using the image plate holder. After you scrape, the polish will stay on the holder and not onto your table. To clean up, dip a flat brush in nail polish remover and clean around the nail to remove any unwanted prints. Once all the nails are tidied up, you will get this awesome swirly design on your nails. You can totally rock your nails just like this without adding anything else. But if you do want to go the extra step, grab a liner brush and add a black French tip to your design. My preferred method of doing French tips freehand is with a liner brush. Section off the tip of the nails with two curved lines from either side of the nail and joining in the middle. Then fill in the tips. Even if you don't have long nails, you can still do French tips. Next, use a silver liner brush and go over the edge of the French tip. See, already looking better. Moving on to the decorations, first apply clear polish as adhesive. Then place the gold studs using a picker pencil to the middle of the French tip. Gold is a really good complementary color to go with blue, so I went with the gold decals. I used a gold shell for the accent nail and added a few more rhinestones to emphasize the ring finger. Once you're done, apply top coat to secure the decals. Make sure it's a non-smudged top coat so it doesn't ruin the prints. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for weekly new videos. All the nail art tools used are available on my website melanie.com. Check out my channel for more nail art inspirations and thank you for watching.